Hey everybody, Dave Basilto, FilmmakingCentral.com. I'm here to talk about a wonderful new product that I had a chance to review uh, by the fine folks at Red Giant Software yet once again. They always come out with some of the coolest plugins for filmmakers to really bring up the value of your project. And this is certainly one of them. I love the name. It's called Mojo. And uh, what it does is it, it warms up your footage and... Um, uh, It'll warm up the highlights and cool off the shadows um, in your video footage. And I'm sorry, I have my notes over here. And uh, it just does some tremendous stuff. Um, really making your footage look very filmic. And we're going to take a look at how it does all that. So once again, it's called Mojo. Here I have some really cool Art Beats footage. I've used this before. Of a helicopter shot going over a little lake. It's nice and everything. Now one of the things I might want to do uh, first, and actually Red Giant recommends it, is I'm going to go into uh, my effects panel down here and just go into my color correction. And I'm going to pick out um, my three-way color corrector, which is included, of course, with uh, your copy of Premiere Pro. I'm going to drag that on. So now I've got my three-way color corrector, and for those of you who have never used this before, it's pretty simple to use. Um, it just takes a while, I mean, not a while, it just takes a couple times to really play with it and you'll get it. Basically, you're going to look at your blacks, your grays, and your whites. And so we're going to find in here, uh, and this is certainly not a uh, class on uh, color correcting, so don't, uh, <laughs> don't get me wrong. So I'm going to click this little eyedropper here. I'm going to go into the darkest point, and I think that's about right there. And that'll be our blacks. And then um, we're going to look for, I'd like to go to my whites next. So what's the whitest point here? This little droplet maybe. Let's see, maybe over here. Looking for the lightest where, the shine, where it's shining. So uh, for time's sake, let's just pick the lightest thing I can find, which is probably right there. It's actually a little more gray. And then I'm going to look for some shadows, which probably around here. So technically, we've just done a three-way color correction. Um, our color should be balanced now, and we're ready to play with Mojo. So I'm going to close my three-way color corrector, and I'm going to go back into my effects and do Magic Bullet Mojo and drag it on. And right away, you can see the difference in the footage. It's just definitely a lot cooler. I mean, this could be something from a big budget Hollywood movie. It looks very, very filmic. And if we open it up here, you really don't have too many controls that you have to master. Um, it's just really the mojo uh, control here, which really uh, does some cool tinting. Uh, mojo tint. Here's, here's the tint, actually. Not quite sure how to describe what mojo does yet, the, the, uh, <laughs> but... Uh, when you play with it, you'll get some different cool looks that you like. Uh, you got balance. You have warm. You want to warm it up a little bit. It's a little too much for you. So there, we've warmed it up. And you can see a lot warmer now. But it's still keeping with the filmic look, which is the key here. Many distributors, well, I will say all distributors, are going to want your film, even if it's shot on video with your small camera in the backyard, to come across as filmic. And certainly Magic Bullet... Uh, has Magic Bullet looks, which is absolutely tremendous to use, and I use it all the time. However, it's a lot more expensive. So if you're on a budget, this is wonderful. I mean, it's 99 bucks, I believe, and we'll take a look at their website in a second. So we've got uh, Warm It. <clears throat> uh, you can punch it, which will be a little more contrasty for you. You can bleach it if you want to do the uh, uh, Saving Private Ryan bleach look. Let's just take a look. Cool stuff. And you can blend it. You can also, and we'll look at another, uh, some other footage right now that will be more pertinent to this, but you can bleach the skin uh, if you want to change skin colors very, very easily. Let's take a look at, um, where did I put it? This is some footage of my lovely son. Let me just lower my speaker so we don't hear it. And we're out playing in the yard there. And... Um, <clears throat> Just some uh, footage from my um, my Sony Webby cam, which shoots uh, MPEG-4 and high def, 1080p. Very great little camera, by the way. 
And so I'm going to take a look at that. And instead, I'm going to, I'm going to do, um, actually, you know what? We'll skip over the color correction just for time's sake. So you, you understood that we, how we did that. Um, so we're going to just go back into Mojo. But Mojo ships with some cool presets already of some looks um, that are really big budget movie looks. So let's take a look at the presets. Once again, this is just some ordinary footage of us in the backyard. And we're going to really trick it out a little bit. So let's go up into the presets area up here in your effects panel. <clears throat> then we're going to click on Mojo. <coughs> Excuse me. And it comes with all these presets. You can also save your own presets as well. <coughs> Excuse me. And let's take a look at Mojito first. Because that's my Mijito. And right away, Mojito has changed it to a little more contrasty. Darks are coming out, punching it up. Let's, um, let me just uh, turn this off and you can see. I mean, right away, it's a lot better. And once again, you can use any of the um, controls here to change it if you like. Maybe throw a little more mojo on it. Now we've got some more greens. Um, and let's, uh, let's get rid of that one. Just select it and I uh, will cut it. And <clears throat> let's go to, um, this Bruce one I thought was very cool. Now look at that. That is some really cool footage right there. And let's just look at the difference that we have. And these are just presets. I mean, they're ready to go. Now here's uh, just normal. And we throw the Mo uh, Mojo Bruce on. I mean, what a cool, awesome look. I love this. Uh, let's look at a couple more. Oops, sorry. Let's cut that. And let's look at Optimus, which is uh, for the um, Transformers look. Boom. Very cool. And you, if you saw the Transformers movie, you saw it had some really cool um, warm looks to it. And um, that's Michael Bay for you. I love this one. It's very, very cool. Let's just... Uh, and this is, like I said, ordinary footage of us on our little webby cam. Now it's very filmic. Let's cut that once again. Resident Evil, I believe this is for. And there we go. Look at how cool that looks. Awesome stuff. I'll let you play with this on your own. I won't go every, through everything. But let's um, really quickly let's cut this. And let's just add a normal mojo to this. And um, so I might want to work on my son's uh, skin color a little bit. So I can go in here and just tweak it a little bit. And you can see we've got some changes in his skin color. We can solo out the skin right here. And blend with the original. Let's bring this back down. So you can really play with the skin tones and really tighten them up to make them look the way you like. So let's just click that off. On, off, on, off. Awesome stuff, Red Giant Software. Um, so this is Mojo, and let me just see if I can... Uh, let me get to uh, Red Giant website. <clears throat> um... Very, very cool stuff. And I know I recently did a Red Giant um, on Hollow Matrix uh, video, but they just keep coming out with great stuff, so I'm forced to, uh, to continue <laughs> uh, looking at uh, reviewing their products. Um, and let's look at this. It's called Magic Bullet Mojo. I'll drag this over. Here we go. Magic Bullet Mojo, 99 bucks to make your ordinary video look like it's a film. I mean, I just showed you warm and cool your footage, cool knobs. By the way, also, uh, we'll switch back here for a second. As you can see here, all available to do keyframes. So if you want to animate any of it, you certainly can. Let's switch back for a second. Um... Presets, comes with presets, uh, works with, um, on my Mac, works with uh, 
Final Cut Pro, uh, After Effects, I believe Avid, uh, and Premiere Pro, as you can see. So awesome stuff. Download the trial today, redgiantsoftware.com. Once again, guys, you get my two thumbs up from Filmmaking Central. This is a great tool for filmmakers on a budget. So check it out today. I'm Dave Basulto. Hope you enjoyed this. And as always, send any comments you need to me and I will respond. Thank you.